it's about the learning journey. We hand all the responsibility to the students, the sound, the lighting, the props. For some of them it's the first time they've acted or danced. For others, they're really honing their skills as A-level students. The biggest challenge we've had with Moulin Rouge has definitely been the number of inputs. Um, I think that the fact that we've not had as many people on stage all singing simultaneously before, trying to sort of cater for that and from a technical perspective has definitely been the biggest challenge. So we're using three separate mixing consoles mixed together this time around, which is bigger than anything we've ever done before. I've seen all abilities and all ages from year 7 to 13 and it's been lovely to see the positive change in their development and progression as dancers from September till now. Uh, we started in September and I rehearse two times, three times a week since then, uh, two lunch times and one after school with all the, all the dancers and we finished them yesterday. I've choreographed all of them apart from the Roxanne one where there's Hannah and Bo and they've worked together and used uh, Strictly Come Dancing as inspiration for their routine. So you can like point, point at them. Yeah, like look, look, okay. I think the main organisation problem that we had was probably to do with getting the script and the music together because there isn't official script for a stage production so I had to take the transcript of the film, watch the DVD, delete, rewind, uh, pause and then type and retype and also we obviously had to make it appropriate for a school production because there are some themes in there that are probably not appropriate for a younger audience. I'd probably say that this is the biggest production I've had in regards to the cast size and also it's very different to anything that I've done before because it's quite edgy and I wanted to do something that's different to your usual high school musical. The challenges that we had about bringing the students onto this production was probably the quality of the singing and the technicality of the dancing. The two main principles was quite easy to cast. We already in our minds sort of knew, knew them too from the pre previous show and we knew their capabilities. Now that it's done, I hope you don't mind. This is without a doubt the most difficult musical we've ever tried to put on. Uh, one of the most difficult things is that it involves a lot of orchestral instruments and we don't have a lot of orchestral players in the school. So we had to try and find a way of making the music work uh, with a rock band um, and by using a combination of that and uh, backing tracks. We've written most of the backing tracks ourselves. Uh, some of the band are really good at um, improvising and helping out on the spot. Uh, in Lady Marmalade, for example, we found out there was a bit missing when we played it through in the rehearsal and I was able to say, can you just quickly add in that solo? And uh, Charlie stuck it in and played it perfectly on uh, no notice at all.
A dance hall and a bordello ruled over by Madame Zidler, a kingdom of nighttime pleasures where the rich and powerful play with the beautiful creatures of the underworld. One of these beautiful creatures was a woman I loved, Satine, a courtesan, and she was known as the Sparkling Diamond. I wanted the role of Satine, so I chose a, a song that she sings to, to audition with, um, which I think might have helped me get the role. Uh, I think the main reason why I auditioned was because I could sing, and the counterpart that my girlfriend was auditioning for was Satine. So, good enough reason. What's wrong with that? I'd like to know. I think one of the most challenging parts would be uh, the costume changes and singing and dancing at the same time. Uh, just the breath control is quite a challenge. Um, it's the first time I've been a lead role. I would have, last year I was Kanicki in Greece. I've never had a lead role before, but I have uh, taken part in many other productions. I was in Greece last year. I'll drink all the time. Oh, we should be lovers. Should be lovers and that's a fact. Nothing would keep us together. We could still die just for one day.
doing some bad for business. I can tell. I really enjoyed it.